Hi guys, my name is Zena and welcome to my YouTube channel. It has been a while. <laughs> After Christmas break, I had a lot of video ideas that I wanted to make and post on my YouTube channel, but I decided to add one more thing to my schedule that is a lot of time. That's not necessarily a bad thing. I do have to push YouTube down a lot because of it, but I am building my resume as a college student. So being a full-time student and having two jobs is quite stressful and I can't focus too much on YouTube, unfortunately. But I do plan on posting a lot in the summer and also the beginning of May because that's when my semester is over. But I did promise myself one thing. I promised myself that I would upload a video at least once a month from February 2019 to February 2020. The way I was going to do this was implementing a monthly news video from that month. You may know it by to the T. So with that being said, this has been a full year of to the T. So since that's all out of the way now, I am going to start on February to the T. Humans naturally love to reminisce on past experiences and decades they haven't experienced. With this being said, the 90s snack Dunkaroos are back. I actually have never had these dunkable cookies even though I am a 90s kid by one month. <laughs> and the snacks only disappeared from the shelves in 2012. So I don't know why I've never had these snacks before. Dunkaroo announced their big return by quote tweeting a Kim Kardashian tweet from April 2018. Are you excited about Dunkaroos? Since I don't really have much experience, I don't have a big opinion on it, but I am excited to try the snack. You may know Bill Nye as the science guy, but he is way more than just that. He is also the dancing guy. The science personality was filmed shuffling down the runway at a New York Fashion Week event, benefiting prostate cancer earlier this month. I am not a fan of football whatsoever, but I do like the Super Bowl food commercials and even the halftime show. So I figured I might as well address the conspiracy from this year's Super Bowl halftime show. Woo, go football! Fans pointed out that Shakira's red Super Bowl outfit was strikingly similar to the one worn by her character, Gazelle, in the 2016 Disney film, Zootopia. I do have to agree that I don't think this was a coincidence because the outfits look so similar. <laughs> if it's not, then I think, no, there has to be. If Shakira didn't do it on purpose, then somebody did it on purpose and thought it was funny. What do you guys think? That is all for this month's To The T. I know there were only three stories. I always have a long list of stories to tell and then I cut it down to usually four or five and then lately I've been cutting it down shorter. Let me know what you think and if you've been liking the stories I've been telling so far. What stories are you most interested in? Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button.